Hello and welcome to my 3D text tutorial. Earlier I made a 3D logo tutorial and I have got really many questions about the 3D, how the 3D menu works, how you can open the menu and in this tutorial I will explain the 3D settings in a Photoshop more detailed. You can use the 3D for an, any object if it's car or whatever but it works best with the text. If you have very complicated font or very complicated shape, there is a limitation which the Photoshop can make into the 3D and you will find out where the limit is. So let's start selecting the font. I'll be using the font Toxinesis and I will add the font in the download link. I will write there text 3D text. I can move the text around here where I want. And if I want to make text larger, you can drag from the text icon here. The text color, it doesn't matter because you can change it to from the 3D menu. And if you want to make text like closer together, you will uh, select the whole text and hold down Alt. And with the arrow keys, you can move the text closer. And let's make it a little bigger. Drag it like here. And there you go. Now the text is in here, in this layer, the 3D text. Text layer needs to be selected and you will click 3D and new 3D extrusion from selected layer. And click OK. Now the 3D effects, the Photoshop have made now the text into the 3D. If you want to go, I already have here the 3D menu, now it's open automatically, but if you don't have the 3D menu, just double click on a 3D text or your text layer, whatever it has, and when the when the layer is on a 3D mode, you will see here this small cube. So I will shortly tell you about these settings. Here is the current view, environment scene, infinite light, and the 3D text layer. This is the layer which has this 3D effect. And here is all the effects now the text layer has. There is front inflation material, front bevel material, extrusion material, back bevel material, back inflation material. If you want to see the text from the front like this, you don't need to change any of those back materials. When I double click on a 3D text front material, I can select the color and the material of the front of this text. If I click here, there is some different materials. Okay, let's select this and I want to change the color for black and here is a few different diffuse specular illumination ambient and there is a lot of settings for all of these colors if you want them to be more like shining you see how it affects there is comes a small shining effect on the middle bump and opacity front bevel material extrusion material now you see the 3d x the text extrusion material is now it's the material which is the, the 3d so let's double click here and i can also change a color of here let's put it like something like And you will see how they will affect on a text by the illumination color, the ambient color. Okay, there you go. Now I have selected the, the materials and the colors which I want to have on this image. Okay, and let's go for another options here. Here is the environment, you can double click on environment and here you see it's like the colors 
the shadows color on the which it has you can change it you want a red shadow white darker let's make it darker color intensity yeah it makes a little bit of uh, changes of the color here you go to the scene you can double click on a scene you can also send it into the 3d print I never used this machine settings here is also coordinates from the scene you can just scouse to the left or right up and down closer I will add it, I will place it there so I will see the whole text, something like that, and a little bit to the left. There you go. And here is the current view. You can see here is the field of view, it comes like closer. And here is the uh, settings for the light here is the infinite light you can double click it and you can change here there is some presets of the lights it's on a light now we have the color of the light let's say i want to add like orange here is the coordinates for the lights and for the shadow it actually affects on the shadow where the shadow are going. If you think now the light is coming from the up, where you think the shadows will go. Top of this color and right click and you will see how it affects on this. Now it shows the shadows and changing the coordinates. Left, right. And also rotate the whole image here and if you want to go back ctrl alt and jet you will go step back so here's the shape preset it makes a cool effect around the text there, is some pre there are a few very nice effects i usually use this and you can change the extrusion depth from here the cap you can select the width and the angle of the cap okay let's keep on that and from the coordinates let's make it come a little bit closer from the closer and it needs to be a little bit uh, also smaller you just go and hold down the mouse and drag it here and it's gonna go for closer I want to see the whole whole text can we move to the left a little bit there you go if you want to make these changes to this uh, side you will go top of this side and right click and materials now you see the materials and the colors which are now taking changes into these yellow areas here and if I go and right click on the the front the darker color here and I go here I will see these material colors so that is the easiest way if you want to change the material colors what you are seeing on the text you can also move the whole uh, 3D object when you have the 3D object selected and the move tool. Here is a few selections how you can move and rotate in it the 3D object. You can rotate it around and move it all around. When your 3D object is ready, you will go on the layer, right click on the layer and render 3D layer.
and here you can see the time remaining on the render. The time is depending on your project size, the resolution, you have to wait until the render is, is done. Now the render is finished and if you want to make this 3D object into the layer, you need to right click on the layer and rasterize 3D. You can also play with these 3D settings, there is a little bit more of those adjustments and things which I might not tell you about. Anyway, this is Ambient Flush, see you in the next one.